My name is James Williams Jr. Welcome to Comfort Havoc number two. Okay, so there are quite a few different people in this world, and gamers are one of them. I'm not a full time gamer, although that would be awesome. It's not my thing. I'd much rather make movies and do acting, and clearly that's not really happening right now. But anyway, so I'm going to talk about these two games. I'm going to complain, I'm going to swear, I'm going to put these SOBs through the window. Alright, now let me explain why. Alright, I've been playing wrestling since the THQ days. Alright, so since PlayStation 2, I've been playing the crap out of wrestling. And the WWE games, and one of the WCW games, were awesome. They started getting more realistic looking. They started getting great. Except for one issue. That has become a problem, that has been a problem, that is still a problem to this game right here. Which is even a bigger problem in this game than it was in this game. Your controllers. Please stop fracking up the controllers. In here and in here, no matter how many times that thing pops up so that you can block or reverse, it never works on time. And it gives you little cute messages like too fast or too slow, specifically in this game. And this game, even if you push or hold the button, the reverse doesn't work. And then there's the specials. See, back in the day of THQ, L1 was your special. You know, it was simple. You could, it was a masher, and mashers are better. I'm telling you, mashers are better because the only things you really need to do is how to sling guys to the rope. And everything else, you know, suplexes and all that, they were simpler to do, especially if it was a masher game. But if you had, if you knew the controllers, like, all right, here, here, here's a simple trick. Watch this. Okay. X, attack. Square, attack. These two attack. Punch or kick, either one. This triangle was, like, special in one of them. And this O is for, like, the grab, you know, you, the grab. And that was fine and dandy. Then they started complicating the goddamn control. Now, but before they complicated control, special was L1. You could use the D-pad to move as well as this. And now the D-pad is for taunting. When in the old game, L2 was for taunting. You know, and R1 was running. And R2 was taunting as well as L2. But L1 was the special. R1 was for running. And you could use the O and you could do the Luther ass press. You could use the triangle and you could do the flying elbow. You could do the square and it was a kick. Or the X was a kick. Square and X were the attack button. So you had the high kick or the punch. And you had the, the low kick or the punch with, L, with X and square. They got me confused. And this thing right here was pretty much useless. All right. In today's games, this thing right here is still pretty much useless. And you have all these things that are freaking useless. I'm a D-pad guy. I prefer to use my thumb instead of this controller. But you can't even get the option of switching controls like you could in PlayStation 3. Where you can switch it to either being the D-pad or that the one that had John Cena on the cover. No. Okay, one of the ones that had John Cena on the cover. But for this, for PlayStation 4, these controls are jacked for this game and this game. It was easier in, in this one. I mean, it was really easy in this one because R1 was your block. And you could adjust your controller accordingly, I think. I won't swear to it because I didn't try to adjust the controller. I just wanted to play the game. But for this game, I can't adjust the controller. There is no other option. There is standard. And then when you put it on the other things, it won't let me get off of standard. And I'm like, dude, why do y'all keep jacking the controllers? You know, stop messing up the controllers. Either make them simple or go back to making it a masher game and have an L1 as the special. And I like to use a D-pad again. Now, the games themselves, I only have one complaint, and it's the same complaint for both games. All right? Where is the female career mode? All right. This one, there's no female career mode. You can make females and everything, and I've done that, and I've fought with them. 
But my career dude in here, I don't have the option of not having facial hair. Same in this one. Do you see facial hair here? No, you don't. You might see a five o'clock shadow, but I don't like facial hair. So my character should have the option of not having facial hair. Also, I'm mixed. And I don't mean no disrespect for whoever the hell you genetically scanned or whatever computer mod you use. But can y'all please find some models that look somewhat human instead of some of the creeps. Now y'all got some, some of the women in this one look great and some of them look like um, Medusa put them through a meat grinder. And not only did they survive being turned to stone, but after they got done with Medusa, Picasso got a hold of them and ripped their ass from stem to stern. Same with this one. Only the models here are a little bit more prettier. Where the models here, I'm like, can you just hire the same people? Here's a tip. I need a job. Hire me. Now, the story mode in this and in this, the career mode has been great. But I'm an equal opportunist. And no matter what games I've played, I've never got to play the female career mode. All right, so there's no female career mode. There's no DLC for that on either one of these. These are the most recent games. And, you know, way back in the THQ days, I could play bra and panty matches. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm straight. But, you know, if I'm going to play, like, the female matches, I'm always Asuka or Kari Sang. And in this one, I've been Asuka, Kari Sang, uh, Mia Lam, and Io. Oh, I can't say her name. Shuri, you know. And I, I've been uh, other, some other chicks. You know, I've been the boss. I've been Becky Lynch, but I, I usually stick to my favorites, which in this game is Asa and Kai Sing. And in this game, I was Asuka, I lied, and Kai Sing. And in the game before that on the PlayStation 3, I was Asuka, Kai Sing, not Kai Sing, excuse me, Asuka, AJ Lee, or Tamina. The only problem with that was. The clothing kind of sucked. And in here, the clothing kind of sucks. You know, you, you want to be able to change your gear, but you can't change your gear. And this one, I learned that I cannot get my RVD outfit. The only wrestling outfit that I would wear in real life would be the ones like Car Kurt Angle and RVD wear. Maybe the pants and a tank top. You know, something that will cover up my squatty body. So in real life, you know, I would... Where the shit that would cover up my squatty body because I'm not built at all. Uh, I'm a good martial artist, but I'm not cut. I'm not built. I'm out of shape. I'm like seriously out of shape. And you know, so if I got to make the guy realistic, I'm also only 5'3". And in this game, you can't go lower than 5'6". And in this game, you can't go lower than 5'6". In the THQ games, you could be 5'6", but you could also be 5'3". The best one was the THQ one with The Rock where you had RVD and all of them in there and Rhino and you could fight all over the arena and you live the NWO story and all kinds of other stuff and we need to bring those games back. I don't know why you guys didn't just buy up THQ instead of going with 2K. I am not a fan of the 2K versions but I am a fan of wrestling in the WWE so I bought them. Whether I like 2K or not, I'm not a sports person. No, I really don't like sports games. But 2K has made decent wrestling games, but they always jack the controller. Now, don't get me wrong, like 2K basketball and stuff, unless you're doing career mode, how many buttons do you need to shoot a freaking basketball? This is wrestling. The controls don't need to be complicated. They really don't. The controls should be just as simple as they were when THQ had them and they were mashing. You know? But even with the masher, you still had certain moves you had to learn with the controller. But it was easier because it was a masher than this complex ass crap and triangle, triangle. And every time you push a triangle, oh, too late or too fast or something happens and your character gets their ass kicked. And then the kickout system, come on. The kickout system in this game is booty. The kickout system in this game is booty. Don't let me go to the submit system. Because I've tried my best not to tap out in both of these games. In each situation, in real life, my character would not have tapped that quickly. They would not have tapped that quickly. And I try to line them up. Because in this one, you know, it has the blue and the red. And if you line up the blue and the red, and you push the R3, it still taps. Even though that's what it's telling you to do. So that you don't tap. Now this one, 
is just as complicated, if not more complicated, because it does something else, and you got to line up the circle and the hole and try to get the thing in there so that it doesn't tap. And I'm like, why do I need to go through all that to freaking not tap out? Or last night in this one, same thing, only it's for the money in the bag, money in the bank, whatever, um, the career mode, and the damn thing's going and going, and I have to keep getting it in there. And the whole time, Rowdy Ronda Rousey is on the ladder, climbing the ladder, my character's just standing there. I'm like, I can't run over, like in the games before these two games, where it wasn't that complicated, someone was climbing the ladder, all I had to do was stand on the ladder, hit the attack button, they smack them in the back, and gnash their asses on down. And these two games, no such luck. Why do I have to do the circle thing? And then this this thing here with the lock and tie, you know, when y'all in the clinch, and you can't, you got to, like, try to, Simon says the shit out of the damn thing. And no matter what, if it goes R and it's going to the left, and you push your R and your L to the left, and they line up perfectly with the picture on the screen, and the opponent still gets to throw you across the room, that's some bullshit. Yeah, I know y'all been waiting for that, right? But that is some straight bullshit. And we need to fix that. I love buying these games. I love the wrestling games. I do not like the controller systems. All I'm asking, you can keep the games. But we need our female career mode. Both games. DLCs would be lovely. And we need a better control system. Not everybody who plays wrestling understands how much it hurts to fight to not tap out. But everybody who knows wrestling, these wrestlers in real life, when you play AJ Styles, yeah, that, that's a tough song, bitch. And it takes a lot to make him tap. It's the same thing with The Rock. It takes a lot to make him tap. And in these games, they tap in 3.4 seconds because you can't get the circle to go into the dot or the dot to go into the circle while it's going around in this one. And in this one, you can't get the red and blue Thanks to sync up, and then when they do sync up, it says push the R, and you push the R, and your guy's tapping faster than hell. So please, in your next game, 2021, please, either give me a job so I can explain this to you in person, or please, fix the goddamn control system. Don't make the shit complicated. You know, people are spending like 60, 70, and 80 bucks for these things. The least you can do is give us a control system for dummies. Like me. I'm James Williams, James Company, number two, ECNU.